Okay. Okay. So, let's get started. Okay. So, are we ready to start? Yeah. Is yeah. she ready to start? Yeah. Huh? Ready to start? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey, ready? Some? Ready? Yeah, you can put that down for a moment. Okay. So, last week, if you remember, we were talking about um, opinion polls. Do you remember that last week? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So, for example, today, what's happening in the UK today? Yeah, today. What's happening there? Oh, come on. Okay. Now, don't check the news. I want to know if you know. None of you know? No? No, not today, no. No, do you know that? Raining. No? Well, yes, it is actually, yeah. No, nobody knows? Okay. Today, uh, they're having a vote on who will be the next leader. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> Today, yeah. Do you know? New leader just come to Suleiman. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so maybe, maybe there'll be a <laughs> just come to Suleiman. Another leader. <laughs> Why is Chinese leader a leader? Democracy. Right. Um. Do any of you guys know who? Guys, listen. Do any of you know who the two people are? No. no. You've no idea? You don't know? No? No? <laughs> okay, it doesn't matter then. Why should I know? Well, because, you know, they're our neighbour, right? Uh, okay. Anyways, uh, a vote, you know, if you want to know how people will vote, what can you do? You can ask them in a poll. How could we ask people how they will vote? What ways could we ask them? How could we ask people? What way they will vote? <laughs> yeah, but how? How can we ask them? Yeah? Come on, guys. Please. How can we ask people how they will vote? How can, how can we find out? How can we know how people will vote? How can we ask them? For example, we could ask them on the street. Who will you vote for? Or... Social media. Social, give me which social media? BBC. BBC's? BBC website. Yeah, okay. BBC. Yeah. How else? Go to the station. Yeah. Oh, you're, you're not allowed to do that here. You can't, you can't be inside the voting station asking people. So that's interesting. You're not allowed to do that. But you can ask them on the street, but not yeah. outside, outside the, the state. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a put on the machine. If you hold on foot, that's the test. Yeah, but where? In the uh, underground station. Okay, fine. <laughs> Something easier, though. What are <laughs> ideas? Oh, come on. You must have some ideas. Come on, there's so many ways. You could ask people on Twitter. You could ask people on Facebook how they yeah. will vote, right? Yeah. You can email them. Yeah? yeah? How else? Come on. Use Twitter? Yeah, how? Um, <laughs> phone them. Phone and ask. Yep, good. How else? Huh? Say again? YouTube. YouTube? Mm, yes, you could ask people on YouTube. Comment section. Write your comment. Uh, I make phone, phone calls, yes. How else? Yes. Internet. Like what website? Yeah. Which website? Which? Uh, Google, yeah. <laughs> How else? Which websites? Give me some websites. Twitter? Twitter. Facebook? Oh. Maybe, maybe not, yeah. Yeah? Survey Monkey? Yeah. 
You know Survey Monkey? No. Nope. Oh, it's a survey website. Oh, Survey Monkey, I know. You know Survey Monkey. They do before. You did it before. Yeah. Yeah. Before. Yeah. 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 Okay. Good. So you have two ideas here. You have what's called the population. Now I hope I hope you know this word. What's the meaning of population? Uh, or maybe you don't know this word. Now let's get this table first. No, this table first. Then this table. You you're part of their table. Okay. Population. Yeah. Uh, yes, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and how would you guys say what population is? The number of people living in the US. Yeah. So, population has two meanings. It means the number of people, mm -hmm. but it also can mean all the people. Mm -hmm. So you can use it as the name for all the people. Like, uh, you could say, um, um, the population of Ireland means all the people in Ireland. You can use it as a noun for the group of people. So it could also mean just every one. Yeah. And then inside the population you have a smaller piece mm -hmm. called the sample. sample. Yeah. Now what does that mean? Now this table first and this table. So sample, what does it mean? Guys, 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 please, they're talking. <laughs> Sample means? Just the one. Just one? Just the one. Given. Okay. Yeah, it could mean this. It has another meaning as well. Yeah. So sample could mean just one, mm -hmm. like a sample of something. Yeah. But it also has another meaning when you're talking about people. Anyone know? Okay, do you, this side know? It's, uh, no? just a remain. it's just a what? Remain. It's uh, like to, uh, just the truth. You, just the truth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Yeah. A sample here means a small group of people. Yeah. Okay. So, for example, okay, let's say, um, let's say in Ireland, you want to know, do people like tea or coffee more? Okay. You could ask the whole population. But what's the problem with this? If you ask everyone in Ireland, do they prefer tea or coffee? So that at this table first. What's the problem with this? <laughs> okay, fine. No, that's fine. That could be an answer. If I said, do you like tea or coffee? The answer can be not tea and not coffee. That's fine. Yeah. But what's the problem with asking everyone in Ireland? Choose, choose, uh, choose, uh, Too much. Yeah. Too much, isn't it? Too much. Too much. So you can't ask everyone. So instead you ask a sample. Oh, yeah. Maybe you ask a sample of 1,000 people. Yeah, and also, it's important who you ask. Yeah? So do you understand the difference between population and sample? China is too big, you'll need a sample. Ireland is too big, you'll need a sample. Yeah. Okay? But sometimes, you do ask everyone in the country. Yeah? Does anybody know when that happens? When you ask everyone in the country something? Yeah, but not everyone votes. So that even that's a sample. Yeah, only maybe 50% of people vote. So that's a sample. Oh, maybe the uh, youngest yeah. can vote. Yeah, but even older people, some don't vote. Yeah. Does anyone know? No? So in Ireland, every, I think, five years, uh, you have what's called a census. 
Do you know this census? I don't know if you have this in China. It's when the government asks everybody questions like their age, uh, oh, yeah. uh, where they work, you know, uh, how big their home is. The government wants uh, information on everybody so it knows what the country looks like. You know, like, why would you want to know how many children there are? Why would the government want to know how many children there are? Mm -hmm. What might be a reason? Yeah. What reason? Uh, uh, the too. Yeah, but why? Why would a government want to know the number of children? Because they want to pay for the child. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> but how? What things? Maybe to see that this is the youngest... Uh, oh, no, no. I'll give you a simple one, right? The government would want to know how many children there are because it needs to know how many schools yeah. to build yeah. and where to build them. Okay? So in Ireland, every maybe five years, you have what's called a census, and this is on the population. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know if in China you have something similar. Do you have anything like a census in China where everybody must answer the questions? It's the law. No? China's too big for this, huh? Yeah. Yeah. What about uh, for your home country? Yeah. Do they have a census? Yeah. How often? Uh, I don't know the period. Yeah, but not every year. Yeah. Maybe every five years, I, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Five. Would that be about right? Yeah. Okay. So, did you write those two words down? Population and sample. Uh, and I think it's also good if you know this word, a census. And a census is always on the population. Yeah, did you write them down? Yeah? Okay. Okay, so just three very small questions. Um, 1.1, 1. 1. the answers are yes or no. 1.1, 1. 1. Okay. yes or no answers. Okay, 1.1, 1. 1. yes or no. Yes or no. So the, the question is, would it be possible, would it be practical, would it be possible to do the following? So the first one is, you want to know the favourite colour of all the adults who live in London. I want to know, is that possible or, do you, uh, or, or not? Maybe you need a sample. So yes, if you can ask everyone, and no, if, it's, if you can't ask everyone. Okay, you got that? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, guys, you got that? Yes? Yeah. Right, so what do you think? We'll have, this group can be uh, ask A and then I'll ask this side B. So A, this side. If you want the favourite colour of all the adults who live in London, could you ask this population or do you need a sample? What do you think? What did I just say? I said, this guy will answer A, and this side will answer B, okay. isn't it? So, this side, A, what do you think? You saying sample. Would you all agree with him? Sample? Mm -hmm. London is pretty big, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now this side. Find out the height of each employee working in an office. 
Can you ask everyone, or do you need a sample? You can ask everyone. There's no office that's so big that you can't ask everyone. Right. Now, let's go back to this side. You want to know the annual salary of all women who work in the UK? You're saying sample? Yeah. Okay, and now, this side, would you agree or disagree? Sample. You're saying sample as well? Yeah. yeah. I disagree with both of you. Okay? And I'll tell you why. Um, maybe it's not so much for your home countries, but uh, in China, you pay tax, don't you? Yeah. yeah. On your job, you get money from your boss and you must pay tax yeah. yeah is the tax paid by you or by your boss who pays the tax is it automatically paid or must you pay do you know what i mean oh, yeah but what i mean is does the pay come out before does the tax come out before you get your money or after you get your money before so the company keeps the tax, and then they give it to the government, yeah. right? So the government knows how much money you get from your company, right? Because yeah. they pay the tax. Yeah. So if you want to know the salary, then all you need to do is ask the government. Oh. Mm. So you don't need a sample. You can know it for everyone, mm. can't you? Yeah. Because yeah. the government knows it for everyone. Yes. Yeah. The last one was a little tricky. All right, good. Now, 1.2, you can do this together. Um, I want you to give me an advantage of using a sample instead of a population. Okay? So you three can come up with a couple of examples, and this table can come up with a couple of examples. I want advantage of using a sample instead of a population. Okay. You can turn around uh, and work with them if you want, okay? Oh, this table is very quiet now. I want like two or three advantages would be great. <laughs> oh, let's see what you have. Right, we'll start here. Could just give me one advantage and then we'll get one from here and then we'll go back. So one advantage from this side. Okay, so you said using a sample you can save time. Okay, now this table. Say again? Convenient. Convenient. It's easy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now this side. Got any more? Same easy. And anything else? No? What about this side? Anything else? Save money. There we go. Save, most importantly, money. money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Cheaper. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Huh? Oh yeah, that's true too. It's quicker. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Okay, good, 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 good. I'm happy now with that. Right, next question. We'll do this one together. Let's read it together. A large company with offices in many countries 
wants to find out whether its employees travel to work each day by car, train, bicycle, bus or by walking. It is impractical and expensive to ask every employee, so it is decided that only the employees in the New York office will be asked. In this scenario, which is the population and which is the sample? So, uh, maybe uh, we'll start over here this time. Who do you say the population is? The employees for this company, in that company. Yeah, in globally, in the world. Globally. So, the answer to the first part is the population is um, all employees in every country. For this, for this business, all employees in every country for this business. And this table, who is the sample? Yeah, the employees in New York. New York. Make sense? It's okay? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Can I um, scroll down? Continue? No. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I see people writing here. Yeah? yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Now, guys, come on. Come on, come on, listen, listen. So, my example earlier, I want to know if people in Ireland prefer tea or coffee. Mm -hmm. Can I ask everyone? No. 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 I need a sample. Yeah. So, for me, my sample, and my question is, my question is, is tea or coffee? Yeah, coffee or tea. And my sample I will use is you. Now, is there any problems with this? What could be some problems for me? What are my problems? If I use this class as a sample. Okay. So, yeah? Other uh, answer. Say again? Different answer from your coffee or tea. Yeah, well, let's say the answer could be coffee tea or not coffee or tea. That's fine. Yeah, okay. So that's, that's not a problem. Uh, limit take. Yeah, limit. So why is that a problem though? Well, age, yeah, age is the same. All the teenagers. You're all teenagers. Yeah. yeah. So the, 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 but why is that a problem? Small number. Uh, why is that a problem? Yeah, these are problems, but why are they problems? So you're all young. Is everyone in Ireland young? No. <laughs> so the problem is you guys don't look like the population of Ireland. You're young, but the population of Ireland is young and old. Okay? It's inaccurate, right? Yeah, it's inaccurate, yeah. You're Asian, Middle Eastern. The population of Ireland has some Asian and Middle Eastern people, but mostly Irish, right? Uh, what are other problems? So your age is a problem. Uh, your your country, um, culture. culture. We'll say yeah, culture is better. Culture. Yeah. What else could be problems now? Age, culture. Maybe not. But you're also in Ireland, so it's the same. Yeah. What else might be a problem? I think these are big problems, right? But maybe there's... Education. Uh, true, education. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I think... Um, 
Transport? Transport? Don't know if transport would matter so much. I think education would matter. Yeah. What else could matter? The prices. Yeah, the price. You know? Um. Yeah, I think, yeah, the price could matter. Maybe maybe students like to drink Coca-Cola because it's cheaper than tea or coffee. <laughs> you know? Location. It's cheaper. Yeah, location. Yeah, location maybe. But tea and coffee is everywhere, so. Yeah. Some, some place um, where I don't have uh, just coffee. Ah. A coffee shop. Don't worry. Every place in Ireland has tea or coffee, so I don't think location is a problem. No. So, um, Ahmed, you used a word earlier which isn't 100% right, yeah, but it's yeah. close. You said that if we use this class, it's not accurate. But there's another word. Not exact. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. This sample does not blank the population. What word goes here? It's not, you don't say this sample does not accurate the population. You don't say this sample does not exact the population. Does anyone know? Yeah. What? Uh, yeah, okay. One word. <laughs> guys, guys, guys. Now, come on. I had to look over here a couple of times to see you talking and telling you to stop, okay? Mm -hmm. This sample does not... Represent. represent. There we go. This sample does not represent the population. Is this a new word? Do you know this word? You kind of knew this word. Do you know this word? Yeah. It means um, um, does not look like. the population. You understand? Yeah. yeah. So tell me, how could I get a sample that does represent the population? I could make sure I have people of different ages. Yeah. I could make sure I have some Irish people in my sample. Yeah? So I need a mix of people. Should I have more Irish people or non Irish people? Irish. Why? Because you are so mainly in Ireland, yeah. So because the population is mostly Irish, then the sample should be mostly Irish. Yeah? Okay, good. If, if we have a problem, like this class, we say the sample is blank. This is if it's a problem. Does anyone know the word? Begins with a B? I don't think so. Biased. It means, it means the sample does not look like the population. Yeah? You understand? Yeah? So let's have a look at some examples. We'll do this together. Um, this side can be A and this side can be B. So let's have a look in uh, 2.1. So you see 2.1? So in A, you want to know people's opinion about whether they prefer to do their shopping in a large supermarket or prefer to visit a small independent shop. So the sample you use are people who leave large supermarkets with lots of shopping. Now, this side is A. Do you think that sample is representative or do you think that sample is biased? What do you think? So this side, you want to know if people like to shop in big shops or small shops. So you ask people outside a big shop. 
Do you think that's representative or do you think that's biased? What do you think over here? Do you understand the question or is it confusing you? If you look up, I can help you. So you want to know, do you like to shop in big or small shops? And your sample is you ask people leaving a big shop. So, is that good and representative or is it bad and biased? What do you think? Good or bad? Bad. We say it's biased. Why? What's the problem? Yeah. They just shop in a big shop and now you're asking them which do you like? You know? So this is like if I go to a tea shop and ask people do they prefer coffee or tea? That's a problem. That's bias, not representative, bias. Okay, now, over this side, you want to know what films people like. Do they like horror, romance, comedy, whatever? So your sample is you ask teenagers who just bought a ticket to see a horror film. Representative or biased? Bias, why? They have already bought They've already bought a ticket for a horror films, so this probably means they like horror films. Yeah. yeah? Okay, good. Right. Now let's continue. So I uh, actually just before I go down, just to remind you, bias bad. Representative good. Okay. Now, oh hang on. Who's who's PMP? Yeah. These words are very, very important for you because you know you will have to do research on your PMP program, right? You'll have to write a survey and ask people questions, yeah? yeah. So these words are more impor very important for you. Your PMP, yeah. PMP, you too, or just both of you are PMP? Yeah. So you understand these words are important for you? Represent, Represent and bias. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right. Okay, next. Yeah, we can do the next one. Okay. So when you ask someone a question, there are two types of questions. You can ask them a open question or a closed question. Now, do any of you know the difference between an open question and a closed question? Yeah. You know the difference? Closed question is like yes or no. Good, yeah. That which type is that? Close. Good, yeah. And you know, yeah. which is uh, open. Yeah. What's open? Open. Share with others. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. So open you said closed. Close, yeah. Uh, closed questions. Yeah. Fixed. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Closed questions are fixed. fixed. They have answers like yes or no, mm. coffee or tea. Yeah, yeah. You know. A, B, C. Yeah, that's what he meant by fixed, limited answers. Whereas open, not fixed, yeah. You can share ideas, you can talk more, yeah. Open your mind, yeah. It's, it's like this, okay. So, um, give me an example, please. Um, this side can give me an open question and this side can give me a closed question. So give me an open question here. Any example, an open question. Anything, it doesn't matter, any, any open question. But that open, then you're closed. Good, what's your favorite fruit? Fine, tell me about your favorite fruit. Why do you like this fruit? These are open questions. Right, now, you guys give me a closed question. How many? Well, this side closed, yeah, go on. Do you like to play 
Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This is a close question. Um, do you buy video games online or in store? Yes. Close question. Good. Okay. Now, uh, just before I go on, there are open, closed, advantage and disadvantage. Okay, so um, we'll take... Now, I've seen you do that like three or four times today. I want you to put the phone in your pocket now. Yeah, I don't want to see it, because I'll take it. But I like the look of it, OK? Now, uh, we'll take turns. So we'll start with this side first, over here. Can you give me an <coughs> advantage of an open question? And then, while you're thinking, then I'll ask these guys, I want an advantage of a closed question. OK, so advantage of an open question. Yeah, uh, so that's, in other words, lots of information. That's just what you mean. Uh, advantage of a closed question for this side now. The answer is clear. Oh, good, yeah, the answers are all clear answers. Very good. Okay, back here, can you give me a disadvantage of open questions? Disadvantage of open questions. And then you can give me disadvantage of closed. Any ideas? Maybe there is a no, uh, but with an answer. Oh, I see. Yeah, that uh, it's there's not one answer that's uh, popular. Yeah. Is it, is yeah. It easier, is it easier to mix ideas? Okay. Yeah. Privacy, yeah, maybe. But there's, there's a simpler disadvantage. Too much time and money. You know, because you have to write their answer down, you have to listen to them, blah, blah, yeah, blah. Something, something happened to me, I remember at the supermarket, I was actually with Marwan. And I was just tapping on, yes, I like the service. And then they were saying, what did you like about And then you have to go, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Takes too long. Takes yeah. too long. Right. What about a disadvantage of closed? Uh, the, the information on other is really limited. Yeah, you have limited, limit in answer, answers, information. So, for example, earlier I said, do you like tea or coffee? So, if I had a box, tea or coffee, there's a problem for you because you need another box, which wasn't there, which is Coke. So, this is a disadvantage of closed. Okay. When you PMP students do your research, you have to decide how many questions you want open and how many questions you want closed. My opinion is... I think 90% of questions should be closed, this is my opinion, and 10% could be open. Because you want to have some flexibility to let people give you their opinion, but you don't want too much. So I think 90-10 is a good balance between the two. Yeah? Okay. Uh, let's see. So, we'll do 3.1 A, B, C, D. I need you to tell me if it's open or closed. Let's do it together. So, 3.1 A. What do you think is the best way to revise for an exam? Is that open or is that closed? <coughs> it's open. So, write in open, please. Okay, B. Put a circle around any of these activities that you did yesterday. Read and shop and study in. Open or closed? Closed. Closed? Yeah. What is your age? Under 18, 18, over 18? Closed. Closed? Yeah. What is your opinion on global climate change? Open or closed? Open. 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 Okay, so we've already discussed some benefits and disadvantages. 
So. The last thing to have a look at is uh, interviews. Okay. So, mm, yeah, we'll just get this little, we'll just get 4.1 finished. Okay, so you all know about uh, an interview. So Ahmed said uh, you had an interview in a shopping centre where they asked you questions like what? Oh, I wish it was an interview. It was just a bot. You know? Oh, it's a machine. Okay, yeah, fine. No, uh, a robot interviewed you then. So what questions were you asked? Uh, it was just a glimpse, really. Uh, I think it was saying, why was the service good? Why was the service Very good? Good. Yeah. good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did they ask you how much you spent? Oh, no. I, it, no. Literally, when I saw the question, I just walked away. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'm not doing that, you know? You, did, you didn't want to... Uh, yeah, I didn't want to spend time. We were leaving anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, with interview questions, there's usually five types of questions, okay? So, the first type uh, is that we have current facts. So this is maybe where you ask people questions like, is it, true? Is it tr yeah, well I'd say questions like, mm -hmm. who is the president of China? Who is the president of America? You know, um, um, who's the president of Ireland? You know, questions like this, the current facts. The second type of thing you can ask people are facts about the past. So you could ask questions like, um, uh, when was the first Chinese dynasty? When was the Great Wall of China built? You know, these are questions about the past. Okay. Um, the other thing you can ask people is what's called general knowledge. What's that now? General knowledge. What type of questions are that? Yeah, give me an example. Yeah. Got an example? General knowledge question? The sun? Oh. <laughs> I mean, does the sun rise from the east or from the west? Good. General knowledge. Excellent. Right. Uh, number four, you can ask people opinions. So this is what type of question is an opinion question? Good. Yes, good. Uh, five, finally, is you can ask questions about feelings. So what type of question is that? Do you feel positive? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I was thinking more like, do you feel happy or sad or angry? Yeah. Things like this. Okay. Right. So the last thing we'll do, uh, we'll look at these questions in 4.1, and we need to decide what type they are. So the first one they did... Do you feel safe when you're on the train? That's a feeling question. Yeah. Right, what about the next one? How many times did you travel overseas last year? Past. Past. No, 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 no. That's a past fact. It's not an opinion. It's not your opinion if you traveled four times last year, right? Do you agree or disagree with this statement? Tourism causes problems because demand for holiday homes make housing too expensive for local people. Uh, what type of that is? Uh, what's that? Opinion. Opinion. Yeah. Which currency is used in uh, Ecuador? I don't think that's general knowledge because uh, how many people would know that? I think that's current facts, maybe. I, I don't know. Maybe it's general knowledge. Maybe it's current facts. What do you think? Oh, no, I think... Okay, we'll say general knowledge. Yeah, general knowledge. General knowledge, yeah. Um, and then lastly, do you own a car? Current. I think that's a fact, a current fact, yeah. So if I said, did you own a car? That is past fact. Do you own a car? That is current fact. And what if I said, will you own a car? 
will you own a car in the future? Future bet? Oh, no, that wasn't a choice. Mm -hmm. oh. It's an opinion, isn't it? Because you think you will own a car in the future. That's your opinion. But maybe you won't. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, that's, that's it finished then. That's it finished, really. Yeah. Now, I won't have you next week, right? Next week, how about your class? I don't know. I don't know. Because they're telling me you have an exam on Monday and Tuesday. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And usually the exam is the last thing you do. So I don't know. Who's your teacher? Who can tell you if you have class next week? Um, yeah. Neil? Yeah. Okay, make sure you ask Neil, okay? <coughs> I feel like it is 90% um, no class and only 10% chance I'll have class with you next week. Okay. So. If you have class, I cannot do it. <laughs> um, I, I won't tell you which one I prefer. That's an that's a, a opinion question. Okay, maybe I'll see you next week. Maybe I'll see you next year. Yeah. Next year. Maybe uh, next year. See you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so I'll definitely see you next year. Because you're doing engineer with me. See you. So we don't have any class in the next week? No, look. 90% I think no, but 10% maybe yes. Oh. I don't know. You have to ask Neil. Okay. Because my flight is on Thursday. So then you don't have class. For me, because you're on your flight, right? <laughs> yeah. I must be flying first. What time's your flight at? It's 6.20. Hey, uh, I would, <laughs> then you don't have class with me next week, for sure, because you'll be on the plane. Yeah, yeah. maybe I watch your video. In the That's if I have class. Yeah. So, is your teacher me the physics class next year? Yeah, I'm the only physics teacher, so it must okay. be me. Okay. And maybe I'll teach you maths too. Okay, maybe. I love your class. That's good. <laughs> That's good. Uh, Ahmed, I see we are down for A four oh one later. But the other building. But I checked the timetable and actually this room is free. Ah, okay, so. So you might as well just come back to this room at one o'clock because I'll already be here because I have a class now. Ooh, yeah. Oh my god. I know, and then I have two more after. So no lunch for me today, so I'll go home at 4 o'clock. Is the salary enough for all the work? Uh, <laughs> Worth the effort? Don't know about that now. But what are you going to do about it? Yeah, yeah. It's life. <laughs> exactly right. So we'll be in this room later at 1 o'clock then. Okay, sure. And I think we're going to do a, we'll do a practice test together. We'll work on it no, together. No. Yeah. I hope I can. Uh, is it okay if we can write the formulas down? You know all the. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we won't. I, no, no. We'll we'll work on it together. So any questions you can't do, we'll work together on it. Okay. Yeah, I'll sit down with you. We'll do it together. Sure. All right. I'll see you later. So enjoy your lunch. No, you can't. No lunch. You're the There's same. <laughs> you, you've, you're downstairs with Colleen, is it? I think so. Yeah. Okay. So I'll see you in, in an hour then. Sure.